Hi guys, welcome back to a new video and in this video I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how I did this side to side masking transition. Alright, so jumping straight in, I've got my uh, clips ready here, uh, all going from side to side, so that's the first one, second one, third one there, and lastly this one. So as you can see, the uh, second clip here has got me going from side to side. Um, so I know exactly which part I'm going to take out and cut out, which is going to be this one here. And with the same is with the second clip here, I've got something in the middle here, which I know that I'm going to mask out um, so that these two can kind of connect into each other. So just uh, select all the clips, right click, replace with After Effects composition. So we're inside After Effects now, and I've just quickly gone through and uh, just renamed all the clips uh, in order. So just right click and rename. And I've just done that beforehand. So one, two, three, and four. So the first clip don't actually need to do anything to that. Um, that's gonna be masked in with the second one. And so with the second clip selected, uh, it's pretty easy what you need to do. So as soon as the post starts to come in, I'm just gonna go to like 33% so I can see my mask. And yeah, with the clip selected, just draw a mask around the whole of the clip. Like that. Just lower down, clip to mask properties. And so now what you wanna do is just start a mask path uh, keyframe. Just go frame by frame as the mask starts to come in. So probably about here and then with expansion selected, just follow the mask along as best you can. It's a little bit blurred obviously because when you're filming at the right motion blur shutter speed, you are gonna get a bit of motion blur, especially when you're going a bit fast. So yeah, this part is a bit tedious, but all you need to do is just kind of go, you might not even need to go frame by frame to be honest on this one, you could probably skip a few because um, it's going in a pretty straight linear way all at the same sort of speed so yeah i'll just quickly do this uh, and then once i'm done i'll fast forward this and come back to you so yeah once you've done that and you've gone all the way along and just masked all the way along creating keyframes all the way then just go down to here and uh, where it says none on the mask just drop down and click subtract and then as you'll see it's actually subtracted everything behind that um, that first post and probably want to just enter in a bit of motion blur here just so the edge is not too straight and also a little bit of feather yeah something like that I think it'll be alright about 250 so here you'll see once you've added the feather it'll actually um, feather in the rest of the mask a little bit and create this weird edge so you can just use the mask expansion here uh, about 145 pixels And that should get rid of some of the uh, the blurred edges. And then, yeah, when you play through, you'll just see that it sort of creates a nice little um, feathered mask past the post. And so that's the first one. And then when you see it comes into the second post, it's exactly the same procedure, but just from the other side. Um, just go up here and create a second mask. So it's going to be a different one. And then just mask out that part here can just close the first mask properties and open up the second one um, add a mask path just go back a little bit to when it first starts click expansion and then just make sure that the mask is not covering in the beginning as we start to go forward yeah we just want the mask to follow all the way And again, exactly the same thing again, just going to subtract and just add a little bit of feather, add some, uh, motion blur's already done, yeah, I did that already, add a little bit of feather and you might just need to expand a little bit. Yeah, and that's uh, done it on that side as well. So now basically we have both sides masked out and we just have everything that's within the, uh, the two posts. 
and that will be you know working well for the second part of the transition so all you need to do is just introduce the clip number three at the point where you start to see the black edge so about here and then when you go along you'll see that it starts to introduce the second clip um, it's still going in the same direction which is cool and then what you want to do is you want to do that same thing for the uh, first clip so as this is uh, coming in you want to sh start to show the second clip that comes in However, to do that, I'm actually going to have to swap the position of the first and second as After Effects works in layers. So you want this one to be above. So you just want to take, so we can actually shorten clip number two to when the post starts to come in, um, probably around about here. Let's see. We can make clip number one a little bit bigger. Just need to play around with this just to make sure that it masks in at the right time. And just also to make sure that there's enough of the clip number one underneath so it doesn't go to a black screen. We are going to play around with the uh, speed and timings of these as well in Premiere Pro, but just for now. Yeah, that's cool. So when it goes out of frame there, there's no black screen. And the same thing here. What we want is when the black screen starts on the right edge. We just want to make sure that this uh, clip number three is starting to come in, which it is there. That's cool. And then just see how long you want it to go for, but I'm just going to start to mask past this post here. So we can do that exact same process um, that I did for the uh, second clip there, and then just going to create a mask on uh, clip number three like that, open up the mask properties down here and I'm going to subtract it, start a keyframe on the path, go all the way across, click on expansion, go all the way across and then in the middle just need to, you may you might not need to adjust the mask path on this one, sometimes on straight edges it works quite well without any adjustments. I'm just going to have a quick check. And that's pretty much it. And exactly the same thing, we're just going to bring in that fourth, number four here. Work for when the black screen starts so about here is good and there's good and that is uh, if you preview it in After Effects that is effectively how I did that little masking segment from one clip to another but as you can see in After Effects here it's uh, playing really slowly because you know it's all it's all done in slow motion and when we get back into Premiere Pro now, I'm going to show you a little bit of an added bonus tip on how to do some speed ramping. So let's jump back into Premiere. So when you're back in Premiere Pro, it's just about speed ramping and uh, show you how to do that quickly as well. Right click, show clip keyframes, time remapping and speed. And then just come over here to this little uh, pen tool and then just figure out the points that you want to speed up and slow down. So here I can make a point and I want to speed to about here. Again, make another point and can speed up. Hmm. Let's try 600-ish, see how that looks. And then what you want to do is just come in here and just take one of these points here and just bring them in so that you get a bit more smoothness in the speed ramping. So go from here, ramp into the new one, might want to go a little bit more, a little bit faster. Just play around with how you like it. I'll just quickly show you what I did on mine. And then again, make another point here, ramp into the new clip here it's 
So this one will probably go up quite a lot, maybe 1100, something like that. So we get a similar speed to the first one. I just do a lot of experimentation with the speed ramping, to be honest. It's not always going to be an exact science, just see what looks good to your eye. Alright guys, hope you found that useful and uh, check this video out here to see how I did another transition from this uh, wedding trailer and have a wicked day. See you later.